Okay, so my brother's graphics card came in the mail. Um, so he got this GTX 1080 Ti. So he bought this actually used on eBay. So hopefully it's going to work okay. If not, we're going to be contacting you eBay and PayPal. So he was wrong. It actually has two of these eight pin connectors. So I actually changed the, the video card connector out into this one with the, the two eight pins. So I actually already test fitted it so I could organize all the cables in the back because you don't need to see that. You already know how it's done. Um, on this specific case, they put this plate here to hold these screws in, but if you, even if you take that out to lift it up, you aren't, you aren't going to be able to get the video card in. So I actually take the whole plate completely off. Um, the slots here, they have another slot up here uh, for, a, I believe that's a PCIe um, card. Um, so that one, this slot is not needed to be opened. The video card actually uses the two below it. And then you have to um, loosen this screw a little bit just so you can get the, the metal piece of the video card in there. So to put the video card in, it's pretty simple. There's this little L-shaped part right here that gets latched here. Just make sure this latches all the way down because when you put the video card in, it'll automatically lock itself in place. So just grab the video card. Make sure the back pieces of this goes behind the, uh, the motherboard, that it's not actually hitting the motherboard. Uh, otherwise, you can damage it. So usually I'll angle it a little bit just to get it behind there. And then make sure it lines up with the slot. And then once you get it in the slot, just put some pressure on it. It should um, snap in place pretty easily. You can check that um, the latch is holding itself there. Um, in a lot of cases, um, the screw holes are a little bit out. Um, so you can actually bend the case inward this way to get it to line up. So usually I'll put one screw first. Um, usually the one on the lower one, since that has a full hole. The top one is actually like, um, there's a slot here, so it's not completely around the screw. So I'll put this one first, uh, not tightening it all the way. And then put the second screw in. Also not tightening it all the way. After you do that, I push the video card up so that way it's in the groove, in the top groove as far as possible. And then just tighten up the screws. Do that. Okay. Tighten up the other screw. Just like that. Don't forget that the bottom one was also loosened, so tighten that up as well. Make sure that the little um, cover for the port is up at, pushed up as far as possible as well, so it's resting against the screw. Just tighten it up. Don't tighten it too tight, because um, you might strip the, the hole that the screw goes into. So just make sure it's like kind of tight enough that it doesn't move around. Then these... You can keep them if you ever decide to um, sell the case or something, but most people, they're going to leave the video card and either sell the whole computer or something. So if you want, you can toss these or just set them aside somewhere. Um, after that, this one has the plate. Just put it back down. Put the screws back in. Oh, actually, this one goes behind here. So... Make sure, whichever way it goes, that you put it back the same way. This plate, it actually goes behind the, the other side of the case. So that way the screws hold it in, in place. So make sure to put that back. This will help keep the thing secured a little bit more. Not that it needs that much, um, that many things holding it in place. But if you want, put those back in. It'll hide the little silver covers. I think that's more what it's for than anything else. All right, tighten that in. Okay. Tighten that like this. All right, make sure it's tight and not moving anywhere. But again, don't over tighten it or you'll strip the metal plate and then the screw will just keep spinning around and won't hold. So that's good. So, with these connectors, normally it'll be out like this, but I think that'll be, it's kind of ugly because then you have this extra cable here. So what I did was I put this one that's going to the left around so that way 
um, that way the ca the main cable that goes to the motherboard or not the the power supply will actually pull on the, the excess slack so just plug those in okay make sure to get all the pins in at the same time there you go that okay and the way this is designed this has like two little things that stick out that go underneath the, the little edge here and that'll make sure it pushes those in place as well try it again same on this side okay there you go all right you'll feel the clips are down that they're holding in place you can try and tug on it a little bit make sure but there you go and then now you can see that when the computer's up like this the cable is actually hidden underneath. You won't see that because you'll be looking from the top. So I always like to hide the cables as much as possible. And that way the dust, if you were to put it on top, won't stick to all the cables. This way the dust will actually just fall on this flat surface. It's much easier to clean it off. Okay. Now all we need to do is put the glass plate back on. Like this glass plate is a square, so you can put it either way. I don't know if there's a front or back. Oh, actually, you want the smooth glass all on the outside so that way you don't scrape off the black paint underneath. And just put these screws back in, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, to install the drivers, you can either go to the um, NVIDIA's website for the NVIDIA cards. If you have an ATI or AMD card, yeah, well, it used to be ATI, it's AMD now, and you go to AMD's website, that way you can get the latest drivers. Um, and if you're lazy or you don't really care, you can actually just go to Windows Update and it'll automatically find the, the drivers for that as well. So that's pretty much it. Now we just gotta plug this in. Don't forget, if you're gonna use a dedicated graphics card, you want to plug the dedicated gra uh, the monitor into the dedicated graphics card. So since he's using DVI, the DVI port's on the bottom here. Just take that little cover off. Um, the other ones you can leave in there if you're not planning to use it. That way dust doesn't get sucked in. So we're going to plug it in now. And then we'll set up the video card drivers. All right. stuff. And there's another USB. Let's see here. Right. Video card. Make sure the notch of this lines up. That's the easiest way to see it. So this one has the line going that way. So I'm gonna make sure to plug it in the right way. Okay. That. Make sure it's all tight. Tighten up these screws so it doesn't fall out. His USB devices. So normally the keyboard and mouse, you'll put it at the top ones. That's where the keyboard and mouse connectors are. But you can use them for anything, so it doesn't really matter. But that's usually how most motherboards they'll put slower connectors there because it doesn't need like faster USB 3 and things like that. So just plug in all the USBs, and then he has this wireless adapter. All that and those. This one has an extra USB 3.1 port and a USB C there. But that's pretty much it. Plug in the power, make sure it's on, and then power it up. Now the video card has a nice blue light, or actually it changes colors. So that you can change in the software if you get the NVIDIA drivers it'll have a utility that, that will allow you to change the color to whatever you want. So if you don't like it just changing colors like this, you can put a solid color and sometimes they'll even have like different options to make it flash or glow a different different way. All right, now let's see, you put in your password. 
Okay, so now, as you can see, it already um, detects the graphics card and goes onto the screen. Um, but the driver is going to be wrong right now. So if you were to go to Device Manager like this, you'll probably see it's using a generic display adapter. Let's see what it's saying right now. Oops. So right now you can see it's just saying Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So one way you can do it, you can right click that one and then just say Update Driver and then you can actually have it search automatically. Or you can go directly to um, NVIDIA's website and find the right one, depending what you want to do. Um, this way is a lot easier. You don't have to worry about going through web pages. But if you want to find like the latest driver, um, the best way to make sure you get the latest one is just going directly to the manufacturer's website. So it's doing that. Downloading the driver. This is probably going to take a while because usually the graphics card drivers are pretty big close to like two three hundred megabytes so but that's pretty much the process uh, once that's done most of the time you're gonna have to restart the computer but that's pretty much it uh, after you restart your computer you can open up the device manager again and just take a look and you should see the name of your video card here instead of this basic display adapter so that's pretty much it. All right, bye. Okay, so the update check actually didn't find the right driver. It just said it thought that was the best driver. So actually, um, if that happens, just go into the start menu, search for the update, check for updates. And as you can see, after checking for updates, it's now downloading the correct one. So yeah, if the if through the device manager it fails to find the driver, just do it through the Windows Update. And if you don't want to do Windows Update or you want the direct driver link, again, just go to NVIDIA or whichever your uh, video card manufacturer is. All right.